Pagepedia, the global data system of information. It is with utmost humility and sincerity that we present Katung Musa Adwak, Senior Channel Manager, MTV Base Nigeria, as a living testament and recollection of history in the making in our generation. I know I can count on me, so stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up, stand uh, My name is Katung Musa Adwak. Um, I'm tall, I'm dark, I'm happy. <laughs> um, I'm a media practitioner. I'm a senior channel manager for MTV Base, Nigeria and Senior Creative Director for the Viacom Networks. Um, I'm a happily married man. Today is actually my wedding anniversary. I'm from um, Zangon of uh, local government in Kaduna State. I uh, grew up in uh, Lagos, Kaduna and Abuja. Um, I'm a media practitioner as I earlier said. I've uh, dabbled in a lot of things in the media. I started by working on radio. I've uh, worked on uh, TV directing, film directing, music video directing, documentary directing, and producing as well. Uh, right now, I, um, I basically run the channel called MTV Base for Nigeria and the rest of Africa. Um, what I do is make sure that our content is rating. It is what the target audience wants, and draw more eyeballs to the channel. Uh, make sure that uh, it is attractive enough for investors to want to come and uh, partake on partnerships. We leverage on relationships as well. Um, and we're just uh, the ideal and ultimate destination for youth entertainment. I went to primary school in FOS Primary School, uh, Victoria Island, Lagos. Uh, continued to FOS Military School, Joss. I uh, went to University of Joss, uh, where I read political science. And then I went uh, to Digital Film Academy in New York, where I uh, was able to pull off a senior diploma in uh, digital filmmaking. I specialized in directing, producing, script writing, and editing. Um, I've been able to put that to good use because um, I produced a number of music videos. I've produced and directed uh, two feature films. I've um, uh, produced and directed uh, three documentaries, actually four documentaries. Uh, and um, um, four, no sorry, five short films. And uh, directed live events, like Everybody Loves Ice Prince. And uh, I used to produce and direct for Cool TV, which I helped uh, in setting up and taking me to number one, Cool TV and Wazobia TV. Uh, now I'm with MTV. <laughs> Everyone is born for a purpose. Katsung Musa Adwak reveals his life's purpose. My purpose on earth is... Uh, my name, first of all, means the reason why people gather, the reason why people come together. I am a mediator, I, I, I like to say. I, I'm the reason that makes people forget their differences and come together. I'm a common factor for many people. Looking at it from different angles, they might not know it. But uh, wherever I am, people gather, people come together, and then there's a resolve of some sorts. So I guess I'm, I'm here as a leader. I'm not a boss, I'm a leader. I um, know how to identify people that are going somewhere or people that have something in them and don't even know that they have it in them and try to channel them right. I know how to pull people together and make things happen. That is why I specialized in the area of directing, especially directing is, uh, is that web, that thing that holds things together in filmmaking. And it's the same thing that has brought me to my position here as Senior Channel Manager for MTV Base. Um, it's because I can look at things on a dashboard, organize them, put them right and get everybody working in synergy. So I guess I'm, a, I'm somebody you can call a connector or a mediator of some sort. I'm a bridge. As a senior channel manager, MTV Base Nigeria, here's how we got to this height. 
Honestly, it's just been a lot of uh, uh, I've been persistent. I and I try to reinvent myself a lot because the only thing constant is change. And um, I've learned things and uh, been able to uh, apply those things as the trends are changing. I try to make sure that whatever it is that I'm serving up is relevant at the time I'm serving it up. So um, I think people should keep an open mind. Uh, to be able to grow, you need to keep an open mind and see that if you, you cannot use tactics you use in business yesterday to do business today and still stay relevant in business tomorrow. So change is something we have to allow to flow through us. We have to be the agents of change that we expect to see. It's the only way you can stay relevant. It's the only way you can stay forward moving. It's the only way you can continue to bend. Anything that is stiff like this, if you try to bend it, it will break. Do you get what I'm saying? But for things that are flexible, you can bend them and still bring them back to shape. So we need to stay flexible. That is what has changed my life a lot. As a word of advice to the younger generation, Katsum Musa Adwak says, um, First of all, you have to put in the work. Uh, nothing happens overnight. I know we're in a generation of social media and uh, things and immediate gratification. People want immediate, immediate gratification without really putting in the work. You have to put in the work. You know, a baby doesn't get born and then just begins to fly. You must first of all crawl, get those knees hard, you know, and then be able to use those knees to support himself when he stands later. So you have to first of all put in the work. You know, identify what it is that you think you're the strongest at and then give it time. Anything you're, in, you're faithful to will in turn be faithful back to you. So you have to put in the work. No immediate gratification it doesn't exist. As a challenge, he nominates the following people whose lives are worthy of emulation. So stand up for the champion. Um, in the same light as I have been challenged, I challenge uh, Mrs. Ifoma Williams. She's an inspiration to me. She has affected me and impacted my life a lot. And I've seen how she has, um, she has affected the people that are around her. Uh, she's a source of inspiration. People always go to her. You know, she puts others before herself. She's very selfless, it's more like what I'm saying. So, I think the world needs to know this. So I challenge Mrs. Ifama Williams. Uh, I challenge uh, Gideon Echezonachi Okeke, my very good friend, um, from Ajegunle to international superstar right now. We were on Big Brother together and um, he's never stopped. He's only grown and grown and grown and the layers keep on layering up. He keeps on getting higher. You know, it's, uh, it's amazing to see what he's, to, what, what he's up to right now. So this is to say that it doesn't matter where you're coming from, what matters is where you're going to. And where you're coming from should never look like where you're going to. That is the story of Gideon Okeke. I challenge Gideon Okeke. I challenge another friend of mine, Ebuka Obi Uchandu. I've known him for many, many years. And I would say he was just this guy who had a great smile, kind of shy but knew how to mix. He has taken that and turned it into money. He has taken what it is he loves to do and what comes very naturally to him and turned it into how he can affect lives. He has a voice, people listen. He has two talk shows and he's a good writer. So I, I, I respect people who have a talent and then they take it and use it to affect other people. It is beyond meeting celebrities at the interviews. It is beyond going for events. It is about using your voice to effect change, to sway public opinion. This is what uh, a strength that Ibuka Obi Uchendu has. And I throw a challenge to Ibuka Obi Uchendu. Uh, my fourth, and not my final, is um, Miss Samantha Walsh. Samantha Walsh, um, works with MTV as a presenter, but I've seen her grow from different stations and different platforms that didn't really favor her, but she didn't stop. She kept on going, persistently, persistently, kept on honing her craft, kept on getting better at it, and now she's on one of the biggest stages. So I think uh, her story is that which especially young girls should emulate. Ikechuku Onanuku. Ikechuku uh, moved back from the States, didn't really grow up in Nigeria, moved to Nigeria uh, with an aspiration to make it here musically. And uh, I must say he thrived and strived 
and did everything and has come to a point where he has received MTV awards, Channel O awards, he's traveled the world, collaborations everywhere and some way somehow he has still been able to stay relevant. Even in the midst of new acts coming up every day, Nigeria releases a lot of acts every day, but he has still tried to stay relevant and is trying to do good things with that gift which, with which he has been blessed. I challenge Ikechuku Onanoku to, 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 to do this. Um, finally, Raven Taylor Adwak. Now, you might say this is a partial uh, nomination, but it is so not. When you meet this person, you will understand what I'm talking about. Raven Taylor Adwak is an American who is married to a Nigerian man. That Nigerian man is me. Um, she upped and left a great paying job in the States and moved here to build a career. Uh, and the way she has, first of all, changed my life and changed people's lives around her. She's a source of inspiration. Even when she's sad, people call her just to give them joy. She lights up a room everywhere she goes. She's an organizer, she's an activator, she's a motivator. You know, and I believe that many more people she should, she should be this way. She doesn't judge people. She takes them for what they are and says, you know, you never know. This could have been you. So uh, I think many more people should, should, should emulate that and be that. So Raven Taylor Adwa, thank you.